All sorts of movies are getting delayed. Disneyland is closing down, but it's not all bad news this week, and we've got it all rounded up for you. What's up, Comic Book Nation? BD here with your second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com. And as you can see, I'm coming to you from my home studio, not the comicbook.com HQ, because like most of the news, we are taking precautionary measures and staying home. Everything this week seemed to be cancellations and delays, but it wasn't all bad, so let's get into the news. After 007's No Time to Die moved its release date back to November, the dominoes started to fall fast. A Quiet Place Part 2 is delayed indefinitely. Fast and Furious 9 is moving all the way back to April of 2021. Peter Rabbit is hopping all the way to August 7th. Mulan, The New Mutants, and Antlers have all been removed from Disney's release schedule, and Black Widow is likely to be the next in line, as it would be searching for a new date beyond its May 1st schedule. Meanwhile, The Falcon and the Winter Soldier halted its production and sent everyone home from Prague, as was confirmed by Bucky Barnes himself, Sebastian. Stan. In this Instagram post, no word yet on when production will resume or if the August release date on Disney Plus is going to end up being affected by this delay. Events like Emerald City Comic Con, CinemaCon, WonderCon, and Ace Comic Con have all been canceled, and even Disneyland is closing down. A lot of people are complaining about this on social media, clearly not understanding that if we don't take these precautionary measures, then that The Last of Us series coming to HBO that we were all very excited about is going to be a documentary. I did promise on Twitter that I'd have some DC news for you on Friday, and while I appreciate everybody following and holding me accountable, I do have to apologize. I've unfortunately been asked to hold off on some of that. So I think it's time we get to some of the good news and stop with all of the delays. Tom Holland promised that Spider-Man 3 is going to be, quote, insane, and Zendaya is confirmed to be returning. That's kind of expected. Meanwhile, Sony hired the Amazing Spider-Man 2 writer Roberto Orsi to write one of their Spider-Man spin-off movies. No word yet on which character it will be about, but fingers crossed, it ends up being better than The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Although, if we're being totally honest, I didn't totally hate The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Although Disneyland is closed, some news about the Avengers Campus came out, and it should be opening in July if everything goes to schedule. This photo of all the characters you'll be able to see from the Marvel Universe at that Disneyland section includes everybody but my boy Iron Man. And don't tell me it's because he's dead. Black Widow and Cap are there. We all saw Endgame. I can say there will be a shawarma joint, so after we all save the world, we can head over to Disneyland and have a snack together. Plus, in our first first printing, we announced that the Guardians of the Galaxy characters will be appearing in Thor 4, a scoop I got during an interview with my buddy Vin Diesel while he's promoting Bloodshot. Meanwhile, on the DC side of things, Damon Lindelof is promoting The Hunt, a very R-rated and violent movie which is hitting theaters this weekend, and I asked him which DC characters he would like to get his hands on. This is what he said. I like sort of like the more obscure um, DC characters like Booster Gold and like Blue Beetle. Like, I sort of feel like I, I like the second-rate Batman approach, which yeah. is like, blue. have you ever heard of Blue Beetle? Right, and that would, be, <laughs> that would be his whole thing. He'd be like, hey, I'm Blue Beetle. Like, I can do everything Batman can. The Batman star Jeffrey Wright is teasing the movie is going to be influenced by The Long Halloween, a popular Dark Knight comic book story featuring a lot of Batman villains. And then a rumor went around that Johnny Depp was cast as the Joker, but it seems like every time a new Batman movie comes about, there is a rumor that Johnny Depp's gonna be the Joker, so we're not putting too many eggs in that basket. Perhaps the brightest spot of the week, Scream 5 is actually happening, and it is being directed by Matt Bettinelli Open and Tyler Gillette, the guys who just directed Ready or Not, which was a really good movie. You should see it if you haven't. And this one can't get delayed because it doesn't have a release date yet. That's your second printing of the week's biggest issues at comicbook.com. If you are looking to get out of the house this weekend, Bloodshot is in theaters. I've seen it. It's pretty good. And New Mutants' latest trailer gives you plenty of reason to head over to your local comic book shop and get a copy of the New Mutants Demon Bear if you want to be ready for that whenever it arrives. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Brandon Davis BD. If I get enough followers, maybe I'll get a blue check and feel validated one day. For more, head over to comic. Book. Book.com. I'm BD. I'll see you there.